All right. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Michael. It is Podkins episode 109, and it's an exciting episode today, right? It is. I'm going to guess that there's some news coming. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Well, I'm sure you can tell by the title of the Podkins, we are releasing a really cool feature, and that is the ability to move rooms on your house map. Oh my gosh, really cool. that is going to be so exciting to our players. It is. You and I, by the way, are looking at our house map right there. Uh, <laughs> okay, I thought we were looking at a newspaper. That was oh. why I thought there was news. No, but... it's the house map, and we're actually yeah. going to go on Webkins, and I'm going to show you guys how this all works in a bit, which is really cool. And also, Mandy, people are going to want to stay tuned till the end of the episode, because we're going to give away a really cool super fan study station. Oh, very nice desk. I love all the books, the little cubby and the trading cards. That's a really cute one. Yeah, we had um, a couple of themes that are sort of a tribute to Webkins for Webkins fans. And this was one of them. They're they're no longer available, but uh, they were available. We had a Magic W floaty clicky last year, I believe. And when you clicked on that, you could get one of these pieces. So if anybody missed out on that, you can pick one up today. Like this awesome super fan study station. That's a lot to say. (laughs) But anyway, Bandy, why don't we first check to see what's in our Kins post? Okay, we have a few today. So shall I start? Sure. All right. Now this one is from Richie King WT. And I know that name because they've sent me some trends. (laughs) Hello. You won't believe how hyped I am when I see a new Podkins. When I saw that you released Podkins 108, I couldn't click fast enough to watch it. I love watching the Podkins because they are packed with fun information about what's coming up in Webkin's world. I also like Webkin's news and I go on it every day. Hope you all have an awesome Halloween and keep up with the great work with Webkin's world. Love ya, Richie King, WT. Well, thank you, Richie King. Aww, we love really nice. you too. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, Richie King, check your email because Mandy and I are going to send you something for having your email read on the show. So awesome. Great job. So we have another one here. There's actually four. Well, I just want to say, Michael, I don't know about you, but I did have an awesome Halloween. I ate way too much chocolate. I I don't even buy chocolate to hand out because I know that I'll eat it all before the kids (laughs) show up. But then chocolate makes its way into my house. And so... But that's fun. I have and a lot of candy left over. Yeah. Sometimes we bring in, I brought in some leftover candy and shared it with everybody. You did? And yeah. There's always candy around after Halloween. Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. And Halloween night was really mild. Yeah. The weather, where which we was live, really it nice. was a really nice night. Yeah. So yeah, there's four Kins posts today. And by the way, everybody who gets their email read on the show will get something cool in the mail from Mandy and I. And of course, you can email us at podkins at gans.com. So this one's from Friday. 2013 and it says first of all I wanted to give a quick shout out to the people who help code webkins it must take a lot of trial and error to give us all the awesome features we have I've been playing webkins for a very long while many things have changed since I first started though something I've always wondered is does getting two pets extend my membership equally as in if I bought a pet and had it for six months before getting another one would I only have my premium count for six months or six months and another year from the second pet. Thank you for considering my question. Fruff 2013. Well, thank you, Fruff 2013. Yeah, so they're talking about every time, if you're a free member and you adopt a Webkin's pet, you get bumped up to full membership and your yeah. full membership lasts one full year. But that one full year starts from the day that you've adopted your most recent pet. So it's not like if you adopt two pets on the same day, you're going to get two years. It's only going to be the one year. So Fruff, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, so if you have two pets and you you adopt one and you adopt one six months later, there will be a full year from the last adoption. Exactly. And of course, you can also get deluxe membership. We have, what is it, three months, six months and um, a year or one month? Yeah. Four months. One month, three months and a year. There you go. <laughs> of course, the one year is the best value and there's a whole bunch of activities and cool stuff for deluxe yeah. players throughout the year. And if you've never tried Deluxe before, mm-hmm. I believe you can do a trial one month for 99 cents if I'm okay. not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. And when you first start out a Webkins account, if when you first open a Webkins account, you do get three days of Deluxe membership to try that out. And every once in a while, we do a Deluxe day where everybody gets to try it out for free. Um, usually it's on Webkins Day, which is April 29th. So there you go. Now, Mandy, would you like to do the next one here? Sure. This one is from DTS881. Dear Gans, 
I am confused. I did get several prizes from the floating goblin pouches in my Webkins account. However, I also got several pouches. They are in my dock. But what do I do with them? What are they for? Dropping them in my room did nothing. Are they for decoration only? DTS 881. Well, yes, (laughs) actually, DTS. We designed the floating goblin event and then we thought that those pouches were pretty cute. So we decided to give them to you and you can just put a cute little pouch in your room. Yeah, recently we did this promo where we had clubhouse rooms featuring each of the goblins that we released for Christmas. They're really cute. Halloween. Or sorry, Halloween. Oh my <laughs> gosh. There were three of them, right? And they're yes. little kins. They're Super really, cute. really cute. They're really unique. We haven't done something like that really before. Yeah, as you say, the idea was that they were lost and we we're tracking them down. So they were dropping these little pouches. And yeah, as you say, one of the prizes you could get was actually a pouch that you could drag and drop into your room. I love those things. They're like little magical pouches. You yeah. can use them in potion rooms or exactly. fairy tale rooms. Exactly. Like you you could use your imagination mm-hmm. to uh, to use them for anything. If you were really lucky, you could actually get a plush version yes. of the goblins from that floaty clicky, which is really cool. That's right. And I believe the plushies and the pouches were also included in the Goblin Village room, which okay. ended on the 8th. There you go. So if you missed out, go to the trading room and maybe a player will trade one with you. So there you go. But thank you, DTS881, for your email. Now, here's our last one that we're going to have today. And it's, oh, it's from Grumpy Lass or Laura. And and it says, Michael and Mandy, I really enjoy all the podkins. Thank you for keeping everything so fun. Here is the wacky pumpkin I painted. Wacky is my favorite character in Webkin's world. Keep up the great work team from Laura, aka Grumpy Lass. So now they actually sent us a picture as well. Oh, and there you go. There is wacky on a pumpkin. work, Grumpy Lass. Wow. Very cool. Very well done. Yeah, I love how they've kept the orange of the pumpkin for the open mouth, oh, yeah. which is really neat. And Mandy, we actually released four Halloween pumpkin templates, right, of Wacky and two. Zingos. Right, there was yes. two, oh, one of you, Wacky and sorry, one of Zingos. Sorry, I thought you said four, but you were saying four Halloween. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, guys, feel free to send us a picture if you carved a pumpkin as Wacky or Zingos, or feel free to email us as well. You can email us at podkins at gans.com. Right, Mandy? and everybody, like we said, we will send them something cool. That's right. You'll get a little surprise from us if we end up reading your Kins post on a Podkins. Yes. And so now, Mandy, we are going to log on to my account and I'm going to show you this awesome new Moving Rooms feature. Cool. The Inside Scoop. All right, Mandy, here we are. Now, I wanted to show you this because I just added this new room to my house. Yeah, um, when I adopted pretty bare my bones. Pet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but a lot of players get frustrated sometimes because your first 10 pets come with a room uh-huh. and you don't get to choose which part of your house the room gets added to. It just gets added randomly to a part of your house. Now, take a look at this. Here's my house that Ooh, I have. Oh, nice. You've got all your garden. garden. Yeah, That's I've got the gardens here. And this was my house area but look at that. My new room was added to the end of the garden. Now I So would... that's like a shed or something. That's yeah. not what you want. <laughs> no. Actually, a shed is a good idea. But I would want it over here. So now we have this really cool new room button here that's called cool. Move Room. And when I click on that, you see whatever room is highlighted here, when yeah. I click on it, it's going to show me where I can move the room to. Now, all I need to do, it's really simple, is click exactly where I want it to go. And now look at that. Yeah, so easy. It's actually moved places. And um, when I close it now, you'll see that, yeah. The doors moved. The doors moved. And now um, I am right next to uh, my bedroom. Was it the bedroom? I forget. Yep, the bedroom. And now, um, yeah, my house map has totally changed, but I could now move this wherever I want. Yes, sorry. I was just going to say, so I'm guessing that if there was something on your wall to the room where you move, that will get added back to your door. Like say, right, that's a good say point. next to your bedroom, there was a window or something mm-hmm. where your door ended up. That window or picture will just be sent back to your dock. That's true. That's Do, right. We should maybe try it right here. So, um, and see, well, well, while you're this trying over. that, I yep. was just going to say. Also, the other thing is I have this problem is sometimes I found when I was moving rooms that I would have my pets standing at the door. You know how sometimes your pets are standing at the door. So when you move your room, what will happen is your pets will still be standing in the same place and you just click on them and they'll walk into the room. Yep, that's right. And as you see right here, the door was added and that window, that Sweet 16 window um, was just 
moved back into my dock. And there, as yeah, you say, Mandy, stand. there's my pet. But all I need to do um, is just walk right back in the Ta-da. room. And there he is. But yeah, it's so cool. I love this feature. So easy. Yeah, it's so easy. And it's not a huge thing, you know. It's just really helpful. So there I go. I added an outdoor room and I'm like, oops. I forgot Wrong my garden spot. was on this side. So all I need to do is click that move room button, um, switch it over there, and there you go. Great. And um, you can really do this with any room, and um, you'll see everything gets readjusted as you do that. The only thing is you can't leave a room sort of out on its own as an island, we call it. So, for example, um, if I move this room here, the kitchen would just be floating with no other rooms around so it. What so what happens? it does, it just readjusts the map. So I'll show you. So I'll move this kitchen uh, or I'll move Michael Webkin's room right to the middle here okay. and you'll see this kitchen kind of just readjust and get oh, reattached cool. to my house. So it's really cool. That's it, Mandy. I think players are going to love this. Players, this is so exciting. Absolutely. Players are going to love it. And it's really fun just um, kind of seeing how you can move around your room and um, you can do it really quickly and um, you can move stuff around until you get it um, exactly the way that you want it. And I will recommend that people label their rooms because I have a bad habit of not labeling my rooms and then not knowing what is where. And so I'm trying to remember all the time to label my rooms. Absolutely. So yeah. Yeah. So guys, maybe you have an old account that you haven't visited in a while because things have gotten a little bit out of control. Well, now you can go back and reorganize those rooms. That is such a cool feature. So there you go. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have so much fun reorganizing their houses because if you're like me, you've added a ton over the years and um, it's going to be really nice to be able to reorganize and replan the layout of your house. Definitely. And it's so easy. I remember when I first tried it on our testing accounts, Mm -hmm. it was like, wow, this is so easy. So yeah, it's great. And sometimes, you know, there are doors where you don't want there to be doors and so you (laughs) can move this around or some maybe you have some rooms that you just don't visit all that often so you could build an extra long wing and stick those at the end so you don't have to worry about them but yeah exactly this is such a great feature i i think our fans are going to be really excited for sure and speaking about fans mandy of course we mentioned at the top that uh, we'd be giving away a code for the super fan study station so here it is mandy would you like to do the honor Yeah, the code that you can enter in the code shop on webkins.com is W24N8WEJQDRW3CEA. Yes, and so there you go. You go to the code shop on webkins.com and enter it there. And please, guys, use this code before December 31st because that is when it's going to expire. It will expire at the end of the year. And hey, it's always a good idea to go back and listen to old episodes of Podkins because we give away codes most episodes and some of those codes haven't yet expired. So there's still time to enter them. So of course you can um, go onto our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webkins to listen or watch all of the podkins. Now Mandy, it's an election month, of course, in That's Kinsville, right. which is really cool. I know Sophie is already in the park. She is in the park and handing out prizes. And also you can read her campaign speech on Webkin's News. Yeah, I really liked what her campaign promise was. Yes. It, do we want to say it Sure, here? Yeah. yeah. So Sophie is proposing, because of course Sophie works at Gansey Store, Sophie is proposing having a player appreciation day every month where our players, all players, would receive a gift from eStore. Very cool. Love it. And I can't wait to hear what the other candidates have to say, too. On the 14th of November, Dex is going to start showing up in the park and you'll be able to hear what his campaign promise is. Can't wait. And of course, the 19th is when um, PJ will be there and Dr. Quack is going to start appearing in the park on the 24th. But you're going to want to go every day because when you click on the candidate, they're going to give you one of three prizes based on their campaign. And of course, they're really rare prizes. So you're going to want to be there every day to make sure you collect them 
all. And by the way, Mandy, take a look at that. From the 16th to the 25th, there's another bake sale Oh, event. I love bake sales. Yeah, it's, <gasps> it's going to be- These we are actually, some great prizes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. We held it earlier this year yeah. for the first time. And so this is the second time. So if you missed it the first time around or you didn't get a chance to make all the prizes, here's a look at all 10 that you can make. Yeah, there are so many useful items I see there that I want more. I yeah. think I, I think I managed to get almost all of them last time, but there are so many that you definitely want multiples of. Oh, like, totally. I think, um, think somebody sent us in a room design where they had a whole line of aquariums going across oh, the wall, yeah. right? And then, I love the aquarium. Yeah, and and that wall piece is fantastic. They're, they're all mm, great prizes. The guitar, I love yeah. the guitar. So the idea is um, you collect baked goods during this event through a floaty clicky. There's five to collect, and then any combination you combine them on a stove, you'll make one of these prizes. So yeah, you just need the cookbook, right, to yeah. make sure you've got the recipe. There you go. So lots of interesting, fun things happening throughout November. And of course, Mandy, we mentioned you can email us at podkins at gans.com. Maybe you have a question. You have something to share with us. You just want to say hi. That's right. And, <laughs> and you can subscribe so that you never miss a video, not just podkins, but unboxing videos and other great stuff at youtube.com slash webkins. There you go. So guys, another podkins is over. Stay tuned to one 10 because we've got lots of cool stuff coming up. It's Christmas. Oh my gosh. Soon. I can't believe we're talking about Christmas already. I know. And we always That's have fun. a ton of fun events happening yes. in Webkin's world. So guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.